Hello and welcome to Salesforce Wisdom channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss Salesforce integration user license. This license type has been recently launched during Trailhead DX, which happened on March 7th and 8th in San Francisco. This license type has got available after March 14th. So now you, most of you will wonder what kind of user license we used to use earlier for an integration user. So we used to assign the full Salesforce license to an integration user. We used to assign system admin or a custom profile based on the kind of data that we want to expose uh, to that integration user. Uh, most of us used to set the password policies uh, for that profile as never expires because we don't want that integration user's password get expired and integration stops working. So these were the different uh, permutation and combination as a developer or as an architect we could have used for an integration user. Now this new type of license uh, dedicated to integration user is API only license. So you, this license will only useful if you grant access to a user only through APIs. Now not, it is not meant for a human user license who is going to access Salesforce data or features through user interface. If you are using you know, enterprise unlimited performance or a developer edition, you will already have license associated in these boxes for integration users. When I checked in my box, I could see five free licenses available already. Salesforce documentation on the help article suggests one or more uh, uh, licenses available, but in my box, I could see five licenses. If you need extra or add-on licenses, you can uh, you know, uh, uh, opt for it and it will be available at a lower cost. Now, how can you check whether your Salesforce org has an integration user licenses available or not? So you can go, you can log into your Salesforce, go to setup, go to company information, and in the licenses list, you'll uh, you'll find a separate line item for Salesforce integration. Uh, this is the uh, this is a snapshot from my org where I can see five licenses which are readily available. Now, how can you assign a Salesforce integration user license? So uh, the uh, regular way of creation of user, you can go to the users from setup, create a new user, but make sure while assigning the user license, you choose Salesforce integration value from the pick list because this is the license type associated with integration user license. Now, obviously, what are the best practices one should use while using Salesforce integration user licenses? So first point, all of your best practices which are related to Salesforce integration between Salesforce and a legacy system or Salesforce or any other third party system remain as is. Specific to this user type licenses, make sure you assign licenses to new or existing integration user. This user license, as I already mentioned, is only available for APIs. So if you are going to access the data via APIs, then only you can use this Salesforce integration user license. This is not meant for human user who is going to access Salesforce data or features using Salesforce interface. Make sure you assign one user per integration. This is very helpful if you want to trace any integration errors or any error logs. So this is all around uh, this new license type that Salesforce has introduced around integration. Thank you. And if you have any comments or recommendation, please comment on this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.